Hello, everyone. It's Robert Hatfield from the RobertHatfieldShow.com. It's Wednesday, February 16th, 2011. We're here live in Hollywood, California, and I have a very special guest today. Her name is Megan Ochoa. And How's it going, Robert? Good. Good. And you're a, you're a singer-songwriter. I am. I'm a singer-songwriter, if you want to call it that, yeah. <laughs> I find that that label lumps you into... Not necessarily a bad uh, category, but people think of like, you know, folky, hippie, chill music, and my stuff's a little more, a little more rocking than that. But it's all right. I am a singer, and I do write my own music. Oh, and I gotta ask you: Do you perform with a band, or do you go solo when you're out? Um, you know, I I just moved to LA. I'm pretty recent here, so um, when I do perform, it'll probably be solo for. Um, the first, I don't know, I'll give or take a couple months. I'm in the process right now of putting a band together. So hopefully um, soon I'll be playing with a full band. I find it, it's a lot more fun that way, but I'm not opposed to being solo as well. So. And what do you have um, like recorded right now? Do you have an EP or a full length? What can people check out? Um, people can check out my um, my my website. It's www.meganochoa.com. Um, we have, I do have a s little six song uh, EP out kind of right now. You can download um, a couple of songs off that on my page. We have, they're free, so got nothing to lose, right? <laughs> oh, that's great. You got free music out there for people to check out. Yeah, absolutely. I love when artists do that. Well, it's so easy now to get music for free anyway. I figure you might as well. I mean, if people want to pay, they'll pay to help you out. You don't necessarily have to charge for your music. That's true. That's what I think, at least. And I gotta tell, I gotta ask you, um, who are your favorite uh, groups or people that you've uh, played with out here in LA? Uh, you know what? I really, I haven't played with any musicians out here. I've, I've met a couple in Austin. Um, couldn't tell you their names off the top of my head. Uh, I'm still very fresh here. We've been here a little over a month. So just kind of getting settled in. I uh, just moved here from Austin, Texas. And uh, yeah, just kind of still trying to get off the ground. Oh my gosh, Austin, Texas. We, I have a friend, a fellow uh, Ustream talk show person. Her name is Chastity Chambers. She's also a singer, songwriter, and she's also from Austin, Texas. Right on. So shout out to you, Chastity. Um, so you came out here to, did you come out here to pursue your music career out here in Hollywood? Um, yes, uh, I mean, yes and no. That wasn't the sole reason. I have wanted to live um, in California for a long time, specifically Southern California, LA. Um, so it's kind of been a dream of mine to come out here. And, um, you know, when I when I first had that dream, I, I didn't even play music. Um, and I don't really act or anything like that. So it wasn't like I wanted to follow that dream out here. I just wanted to live and, you know, be close to the beach and the weather's so nice and just get out of Texas as well. Um, not, no disrespect to Texas, of course, because I, I loved it there. It was wonderful. But uh, yeah, I mean, now at this point in my career, um, I think LA is just, you know, it's the entertainment capital. Like it's where you got to go to interact with people in this industry, music, film, you know, whatever whatever maybe yeah i absolutely love it out here i mean there's so many talented people out here so many and i have to ask you who are your influences like who'd you listen to that that got you saying i gotta start making my own music um for me ben harper was a big influence his songwriting style is kind of how uh you know a lot of first person kind of how I, I write um most of my songs are about personal experiences and just things that have happened um, that I had to write about, and I think he kind of adopts that style as well. So that was kind of a big influence for me. Um, him, Jack Johnson, that kind of acoustic guitar. Um, I love Michelle Branch. That was one of my, like, definitely first chicks that I saw, you know, rocking a guitar and was just like, I could do this. I love <laughs> Michelle Branch. That is awesome. <laughs> Are you she also, uh, she lives somewhere close by, I think, in Los Feliz, something like that. Oh, really? Yeah, we should check her out. Did you ever hear her countryside project, The Wreckers? I did. Did I you did. like that? I did, and when I saw her perform, actually, she performed with that chick. I can't remember what her name was. It was like Jessica something, I think. Yeah. Um, She came out and did some songs 
with Michelle Branch when I saw her, and uh, they were awesome. I never saw the country act live, but I, I dug them. I can get down on chicks playing music. Oh, I gotta ask you. The people in the chat room are wondering what what ethnicity are you? Um, I am Hispanic. I'm half Hispanic. Um, my mother is uh, Swedish. She's Swedish ancestry, and a little bit of Native American in there as well. And are you from Austin, or where are you from originally? I am from Dallas, actually. I lived in Austin for about two and a half years or so. Um, I went to school close by College A&M, uh, Texas A&M University. And, um, but yeah, originally from North Dallas. Grew up there, went to school, moved to Austin, and here I am. Cool. So um, would you like to play us a, a couple of your songs? Of course. All right. Well, I can guys, do that. Cool. We'll be right back in two minutes, guys, with some live music. Okay, and you can go ahead. Uh, all right, I'm going to play a couple songs. This first one is called uh, No Good. Come into my bed. 
bed Time and time again, I pray to God I still can't get you out of my head You're no good Like a slithering snake On that knowledge tree Not enough for Adam but Too much for Eve Not enough for you But too much for me Should I uh, get going? Oh, sure, you can play some more. <laughs> Songs called No Good. Um, fortunately, I don't have that one on my website, but we will soon. Um, you can hear other songs at uh, www.meganochoa.com. O C H O A. You have some songs you can download. I'll play one of those now. The song's called Make Me. Don't have to be so mean Cause I've had a taste of you inside And there you are, you're just so sweet Well I'll follow your back Anywhere you wanna go So long as you don't walk too fast I like to take it slow, like to take it slow Won't you meet me a little less than halfway? Cause I'll go just a little bit far before you if when I get there. You stay, Cause baby. My poor heart can't take too much, but you can hold it in your hands. See if you can warm it up, warm it up. He gonna make me come apart Oh and they he got the moves that break my heart So won't you break my heart
<laughs> oh, that was great. Do you have one more for us? Yeah, I have one more. Um, that song is called Make Me. You can find that on our site. Uh, this last one is called Number Three. It's a little R rated, but it'll be alright. In my dreams, I was so drunk on you, I could no longer see what the consequences of my own actions would be or what I'd get myself into if you got into me. Come on back right here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, please. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let me get this back. Uh, hello, everybody. We're back. And I got to say, that's a wonderful performance. <laughs> I, 
I gotta ask you, you got a video on your webpage where you're playing out. Can you tell us about that gig? Uh, which one? I've got a couple. Um, I think you had, did you have other band people with you in one of them? Yeah, um, it probably was um, one of our going away shows. Before I left Texas, I played going away shows in Austin and in Dallas um, so that people could come out. And um, I think we've got a couple from there. One of them, uh, I know one of my songs, and then I think we have one from the True Blood uh, cover song that's up there. So I can check those out. But I think those are from Dallas. Oh wow, we have some uh, we have some people in the chat room. They're they're asking you about you. We got Caffeine nine seven nine. He says, "Oh my God, it's Megan." And then we we got a comment from Sick Little Boy, Solid Megan. You Sick are little a little boy. R-rated. <laughs> Bravo, now we want Tyler. <laughs> hey, let's keep it clean, all right? <laughs> wow, you guys in the chat room. It's been so long. This is my first show for about three months. I took a little break. I've been filming some other things, some other projects. Um, one project called On the Streets. Check that out on Facebook. Type in On the Streets. And uh, Okay, now back. Back to this, I gotta ask you, growing up, did you face any struggles as like a young child? Um, you know, I think as a child, I was, um, I don't even know, very kind of in my own head. Um, I think I, I, had a, I had friends as a kid, a couple of very good friends, um, but being social wasn't necessarily one of my top top priorities i guess and um you know just kind of struggled to relate to um other people i would say that was kind of something i i dealt with as a kid for sure but i mean who doesn't you know we all we all have our things i guess that's true do um what kind of stuff do you talk about in your songs uh <laughs> well um i f i started writing music um I, they weren't even really songs. It was mostly just, I guess, words and poetry. Um, I was in a pretty messed up relationship and uh, just started writing. And somewhere along the way, those turned into songs. So a lot of my songs kind of deal with uh, personal relationships for sure, whether that's, you know, positive or negative. I do have a lot of songs that are heartbreak, but I do have another others that are, I feel kind of sensual in nature and just kind of how we connect to other people. And how would you go about songwriting? Do you have lyrics that you already write or do you write it as you write the music? A little bit of both. I have songs that I've written, I just had the lyrics for that I turned into songs. I had others where I just had the mu the actual music that I wanted to turn into a song. So I kind of waited for the lyrics to come out um it just kind of depends on on the time you know i always have chords that i like to play or that i want to um make songs out of but i just have no lyrics for and vice versa i have books and books of lyrics that you know may never get used or whatever but just try and collect that can you tell us um a lot of people out here they, they're curious about the music scene in Texas, like where you were from, what was it like out there? Um, well, <laughs> Austin is a good Austin is a good town for music. There's a lot of live music there. You can go out all the time and see it. Um, it's it's more geared, I would say, towards um, definitely kind of more country. I mean, I know that's it's totally a surprise, right, Texas? But um, but it is very like blues, bluegrassy, and kind of like southern southern country rock kind of scene um i would say a lot of that and then there's like a lot of metal rock whatever um i mean it's it's a good town for music there's a lot of opportunity there i um you know i performed pretty regularly once twice a month at least we tried to do full band uh gigs um and yeah i mean it's just it, it wasn't enough i guess austin is just too small and in LA, like there's just, it's so much bigger. There's your peer group is far larger, and plus the people who actually like put music business together, um, that's just lacking in Austin, unfortunately. The art of making music a business is not as prevalent there, I guess. 
Do you um do you plan on playing a lot of shows out here now you've moved to California? I certainly hope so. That's the goal. I am looking for musicians right now. So if you're interested out there and know anyone who's talented, you can send them my website, sign up, you know, get in contact with us through there. Um, I will personally start to um, try to book gigs, solo gigs myself while I can, uh, and then just try and put a team together, put, you know, other musicians together. And so hopefully, you know, I'm hoping by summer, midsummer, I'd have a good, uh, you know, four, four piece band, hopefully be able to start gigging out. I got to ask you a funny question. What is the first concert you've ever attended before? That you can remember. The first concert I went to was actually a Blink-182 concert. <laughs> I know that's terrible, but it was the first one. It was all right. It was fun. I had a good time. Yeah, I used to be into those kinds of bands back in like 2000 and 1999. Yeah, that was about that. I was all punked out with some colored <laughs> piercings. I had my ears stretched out. Gauges. I, I had a gauge. <laughs> I had a four gauge. But I guess now I'm more conservative. It, it was hard for me to find a job, like, having piercings <laughs> and stuff. But now I'm way older. That was, like, ages ago. I know. <laughs> oh, and uh, tell us, like, um, what is your favorite spot? Have you seen any live shows out here? Do you, Have you been to the Whiskey or the Roxy yet? No, not really. Um, out in Hollywood, we went to a show uh, in Silver Lake at uh, the Satellite, I think it's called. Um, Spaceland. Spaceland Satellite. Um, and it was a cool venue. It was definitely a good size. Uh, I, from personally, I like playing gigs like that, that are just a couple hundred people. It's very intimate. Everybody can see and hear. Um, it was a cool place. I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of digging into the scene though. Like I said, we're, we've only been here a month, so we're still getting kind of just settled and, you know, learning the scene. I, um, people want to know, uh, do you have any favorite movies out there, or like, are you a movie or television fan? All right, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go there. My one of my favorite films is it's Grease Two. I love Grease Two. Oh, actually, and I'll say um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, uh, what else? I think there's one more I'm missing. Casino. Casino's good. Yeah. My <laughs> my favorite movie changes on my mood. Oh, it changes just what mood you're in? Yeah. Sometimes I'm in a Grease 2 kind of mood. Sometimes I'm in an Indiana Jones kind of mood. Oh, and if you had a Facebook page, I'm sure you might. Of course. What would your relationship status say on there? Um, I'm single. Oh, you're single? I'm a single lady. Are you looking for someone right now? Uh, well, I don't know about right this second, but you never know what's going to happen, right? You, the doors are open the for doors possibilities. Are, the doors are swinging open. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got to ask you, okay, let's go more into that. What was the worst thing that, that's ever happened to you on a date before? Oh, God. Um, I uh, I can't even... I can't even tell you. Oh, okay. All right. I got one. I got one. I got, I met a guy. He was super nice. Um, and he asked me to go to a Christmas party. And I was like, this is when I was in college. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm down. I love Christmas parties, you know? And so I show up and it's like a super like frat house date night. So like everybody there is like with their boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like all couples, Everyone is like all lovey-dovey, and I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> it was like our first night out ever. And he's like, Christmas party, but it was it was really a date party, so that was pretty awkward. Needless to say, that one didn't work out. Oh my gosh, that is so uncomfortable. I mean, like for a first date, was that a first date? Yeah, it was first date. Oh my god. Fortunately, there was a lot of beer being a frat party, so. Hey, at least you got to Worked party. Worked out, exactly. W work off the edge with a little beer. Exactly. So are you a, a light drinker? Do you party here and there? I party here and there. Um, you know, I'm a little bit older in my years, so you can't really party like that anymore. But but I like to go out, have a good time, social. Everything in moderation, I think, is okay. And what when you're out somewhere, what is your favorite drink to order? 
Ooh, I um, I really like I like good beers, specifically Belgian beers are are very good. Um, but I also my go to drinks kind of gin and tonic. I like Hendrix gin, so that's kind of my my go to drink. Those sound yummy. I'm I'm into I like the vodka and Red Bull. Oh uh, yeah, anything with the Jaeger in it. I'm a big and, fan of Jaeger. Oh, you're you're a fan of Jaeger. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> we have a sordid history, so. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, we hit the 30 minute mark. Um, did, is there anything you want to close out with or tell people out there on Ustream? Uh, Ustream guys, just hang out, keep an eye on us. You can find us on Facebook, uh, MySpace, Twitter, all that jazz. I know it's redundant, but. Um, go to my website, meganochoa.com. We just kind of redid it, so hoping to kind of keep it updated, um, you know, here and there, and just keep an eye on us. We'll uh, hoping to be getting soon, so we'll definitely kind of keep everyone posted on that. Thank you so much, Megan, Thank for you. coming. Thank you for having I me. I had such a great time tonight. I enjoyed your music, and I, lo I love hearing about you, the behind-the-scenes stuff. <laughs> And you definitely have to come back. Um, yeah, whenever you have some more songs written, co come on back. Come hang out with us again. Maybe we can share a drink or something, kick back. But, um, Absolutely. Guys, remember, please add Megan everywhere on Facebook, on Twitter, and check out her site and her videos and her music, and just spread the word. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's Robert Affield. And I'm out. See you later.